Hi everyone, I'm Pat Prokop out in the Heavenly Backyard Garden. Tonight I want to take you on a tour of the heavenly skies. The skies in the middle of the summer, early August, and within that realm we have the Milky Way stretching from the south all the way across the top of the sky into the north. That is known as the Sagittarius arm of the Milky Way. And within that arm is located all kinds of different nebulae, space objects, star clusters, galaxies even, but more importantly, a lot of the beautiful nebulas that we see in the nighttime skies uh, that you probably have seen in some of the astronomy magazines, on the news, the famous Messier 16, the pillars of creation made famous by the Hubble telescope. You can see it in your own backyard. We're going to take a look at it as well. And one of the main features to look for in the summer sky is called the Summer Triangle. Three bright stars, Deneb, Altair, and Vega. They shine brightly high overhead almost in the uh, summer sky, so throughout the month of August. So let's take a look at some of these features that I've seen with my telescopes right here in the heavenly backyard. Enjoy the tour. We begin our tour with the planets. Venus and Mercury are the two inner planets from the Earth and show phases like the Moon, currently low in the western sky. Venus is quickly fading from view and appears as a very thin crescent. It'll be at inferior conjunction, that is, between the Earth and the Sun on August the 13th and will reappear in the morning skies later this year as the morning star. Mars is also fading and will be at superior conjunction on November 18th, that is, on the opposite side of the Sun and not visible. Saturn and Jupiter are beginning to dominate the nighttime skies, with Saturn rising around 10 p.m. and Jupiter around 1 o'clock in the morning. You can easily view these gas giants through a small telescope or binoculars. A large telescope will clearly define the rings of Saturn and the giant red spot on Jupiter. I took these images last year when they were near opposition closest to the Earth. Saturn will be at opposition on August 27th of this year. That's when the Earth is directly between the Sun and Saturn, and Saturn will be at its best appearance for the year. It will be at a distance of 816 million miles from Earth. Moving away from the planets and looking into the summer night sky, reveals a veil of stars stretching from south to high in the northern sky. This is the Sagittarius arm of the Milky Way. You don't need a telescope to view it, just dark skies away from city lights. Within this area is an asterism consisting of three bright stars known as the Summer Triangle. They are Vega, Altair, and Deneb. Vega is the fifth brightest star in the sky, with Altair being the twelfth brightest, but even though Deneb is listed as the nineteenth brightest star, it is much further away than the other two. Altair is a meager 16 light years away, very close, and Vega 25 light years away, and both being just about uh, twice the size of our Sun. On the other hand, Deneb is 2,600 light years away, and it's the furthest star you can see with the naked eye. It is about 19 times more massive than our Sun. Within my tour, I will concentrate on the area within and near this summer triangle. All of these objects can be viewed with a small to medium sized telescope, or some cases binoculars. My first stop is the North American Nebula, located in the sky very near Deneb. This gaseous cloud of hydrogen is about 2,600 light years from Earth. It is high overhead around 2 o'clock in the morning in the middle of August and located within the constellation Cygnus the Swan. Nearby in the sky is the Crescent Nebula. This nebula, NGC or New General Catalog 6888, is about 5,000 light years from Earth and is the result of a collision of stellar winds from two different stars. The result of the collision is a small shell of two shock waves, one moving outward and one moving inward. The Tulip Nebula, this emission nebula is about five to 6,000 light years away and is in an area of new star birth. Nearby is a black hole known as Cygnus X1, one of the closest black holes to Earth. 
You can even see a bow shock wave emanating from the invisible black hole. Messier 27, the Dumbbell Nebula. It's about 1,200 light years away. This planetary nebula formed from the end of life of a star some four to 5,000 years ago. The different gases are flowing away from the core of this exploded defunct star. Messier 16, also known as the Eagle Nebula, contains the iconic Pillars of Creation, made famous by the first image of the Hubble Space Telescope and reinforced recently by the James Webb Space Telescope. I took this picture with my little telescope, medium-sized scope of five inches, in my backyard last year, and it is now in view for us to see once again. Nearby to the south of the Summer Triangle are a few more colorful objects, the Trifid and Lagoon Nebulae. The Trifid Nebula, also known as Messier 20, some pronounce it Trifid, but I pronounce it Trifid, is one of the most beautiful deep space objects in the spring and summer sky. Trifid is Latin for split into three parts or threefold, and you can clearly see the three parts in the red area. It is a gaseous, bright, colorful emission and reflection nebula with the emission nebula appearing red and the reflection nebula appearing blue and numerous dark lanes mixed in between of dark stellar dust. It is about 5,200 light years away, and in the sky, it is in the constellation of Sagittarius. It is medium high in the south shortly after sunset in August. And just south of it is the Lagoon Nebula, Messier 8. It is a giant spectacular emission nebula in Sagittarius and is located at a distance of somewhere between 4,500 to 6,000 light years away. Within this awesome nebula, new stars are being born. Within the region of the Summer Triangle are also numerous other targets to view, the Cocoon Nebula. This emission nebula is about 3,200 light years from us and is a stellar nursery where new stars are being born. Also notice the vein of dark matter emanating away from the nebula. The Elephant's Trunk Nebula, this nebula is about 2,400 light years away and is an area of new star birth. However, this one requires time-lapse stacked images to bring out its nebulosity. The image on this you're looking at is over seven hours of exposure time. After midnight, a few famous galaxies appear, the famed Andromeda Galaxy. This is our closest galactic neighbor, about two and a half million light years away, containing about a trillion stars, as compared to our own Milky Way of 200 to 250 billion stars. In about five million years, it will combine with our own Milky Way to form a mega galaxy. Nearby is the Triangulum Galaxy with about 40 billion stars. And also, this is still a good time to view the great Hercules Globular Cluster, which is part of our own Milky Way galaxy located in its halo. It contains about 300,000 stars. And then there is Messier 10, another globular cluster containing about 100,000 stars. All of these you can see through a small telescope. And finally, the Perseid meteor shower, also known as the Perseids. This shower starts in late July and extends through August, but the peak of the activity is in the middle of August and this year will peak on August the 13th. The shower is the result of the Earth passing through the debris tail of Comet Swift-Tuttle, which has an orbital period of 133 years and recently passed the Earth in 1992. So there should be lots of shooting stars to view, perhaps up to 100 per hour. The best time to view the shower is after midnight around those nights looking toward the Northeast. Well, I hope you enjoyed the tour. You know, it's amazing what you can see from your own backyard. And you don't need a massive telescope. A small telescope will do the job. And the planets, they're gonna start dominating the sky, particularly Jupiter and Saturn. They're rising around midnight now up in the eastern sky, and they'll be dominating the nighttime sky for the rest of the summer going into the autumn months. We got that meteor shower coming up, the Perseid meteor showers, that's always fun. And also all these different objects are just, 
you know, up there, it's amazing uh, what's up in the sky. And it's all available in a sky near you. So whenever you get the chance to see a clear sky at night, get out and enjoy the cooler weather and look up and see the wonders of the universe. Thanks for watching.